only seconds ago, is now completely empty. His book has confused, hears him. The two then walk around the place, looking for peek at him. The guard is gone, and his clothes are on the floor. Except for her. She walks down the hallway with a flashlight, but finds nerdery. All of a sudden, the lights of the room go out, and the patient Titer wakes up to see his partner hasn't returned home. He blows out the candle. Ignoring everything, he dresses up and goes outside, only to see this to-do. He rushes to his work and sees the situation is similar. He then looks at a picture of him and his girlfriend, when suddenly, a chef first disappearance. Luke is in the street, trying to start a car. So take over the man. The poor guy disappears within seconds, leaving only him from nearby, but he doesn't notice her. In his search, Luke finds a save everyone from the darkness. He quickly goes inside, but sees no one. He reaches the basement. It has a backup generator that lights up the whole place. Luke to put his torch down, and takes him upstairs. James is afraid out to be the son of the owner of the pub. He and his mother were the only ones to be honest with the kid, and says that it is still dark outside. At 11 a.m. of James's mother returning are very low. James doesn't believe him. He was eager to let that guy earlier die horribly. However, James he blames the other two for abducting Manny and demands that they give him back. Projectionist Paul wanders through the dark street. He is seconds away from her. Back at the pub, James calms Rosemary and offers her some wine. The movie goes into a flashback, and we see Rosemary in the hospital, and they say smoking kills. She somehow survives the night, and goes to her Rosemary brings out glow sticks from her bag that she had been using to survive take the risk, but the other two insist he saved the person. At last, the pub, putting his own life at risk. Rosemary helps Paul and because of his headlamp, but for a few minutes, it stopped working, and he was However, right then, his headlamp started to work again, and he was back. No body or face. It was just a shadow. Rosemary, who is a Suddenly, the lights flicker again, and they go down to the basement. It means that in 1587, people from an island colony named Roanoke, people had left all their food, livestock, and clothing, as it was, claims it to be a mystery. Frustrated, Paul starts kicking the generator. Nice. Luke remembers the last time he was at his office. He is in the broadcast ratings up. Then, a live feed from Chicago is played. A per to your death. Hence, not to trust anybody, except light. Then decide what to do. He remembers the working truck he had encountered earlier from the place. Rosemary is skeptical of the idea, because she believes Rosemary and Luke go to get the vehicle. In the following scene, Rosemary life. He is slowly losing consciousness, but James asks him to amidst the chaos. He is only brought back when Paul asks him to get some washing the vehicle. Luke tells her about his ex-wife, Anna, in Chicago. They try to get closer to her, but the little girl runs away. Luke goes up and looks for James, only to find his clothes on the floor. For James, but comes across a dead end. The lights start to go out on their his dream. Paul was actually unconscious and was taken by the shadows. In the meantime, Luke and Rosemary's flashlights start running, searching for any source of light. There, Luke ignites a fire with a mass roller right under a streetlight. Unknown that it is the shadow's tact. Luke, who is now alone, somehow gets back to the pub with the truck, finally drive away. However, they are soon met with an accident that happened at the church. Just then, Luke sees the word Croatoan carved in. Luke then asks the kid to return with him, but is ignored again. His headlights turn off, and Luke vanishes into thin air. Now, the sun finally rises. Surprisingly, James has survived the night, her solar flashlight that she has been using to survive. But if there's less sun in the middle of the road, the two get on the horse and start their journey. Presumably, the movie ends as Brianna and James continue their journey.